So today I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is for someone to gain access to your vehicle. Um, despite the fact that your vehicle may be using something called rolling code technology on, on the fob. This is a technology touted by many vehicle manufacturers. Essentially what it means is the fob transmits a signal which is then verified by the vehicle. And then once it's verified, that signal will never can never be used again. So if it is captured, it can never be replayed and used because the vehicle has already verified it and it now moves on or rolls on to the next code. This is apparently um, one of the most secure features um, in modern day key fobs. The problem is there's an inherent flaw with it. If I were to capture the signal prior to the vehicle authenticating the signal, the vehicle will never know whether or not that code has been used before. So I can replay it later at my leisure. The problem is the only way to gain access to the remote without the vehicle recognizing the signal is, is it's one of two ways. You could capture the signal while the remote is out of range from the vehicle, or you can capture the signal while the vehicle is on because the vehicle then has no need to recognize a signal and authenticate it. But for today's example, I'm going to turn on the vehicle. I'm going to copy the code while I'm in the vehicle. I'm going to turn off the vehicle and then I'm going to replay the signal and see what happens. This is a Hack RF Porta Pack. It has many features. It could receive and transmit signals. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will use it to lock and unlock the vehicle using a capture and replay attack. This is a very common attack uh, used against vehicles that use static codes, but even vehicles that use rolling codes are still vulnerable to this type of attack because if i were to if i were so adamant and i wanted to copy this signal all i would need to do is ensure that the vehicle and the remote are not within range so if the vehicle and the remote are not within range the two never communicate so there's never any authentication happening so the vehicle will will have not recognized the codes that i'm capturing so the next time they are replayed by the hack rf the vehicle says oh this is a new code so the second way this is done is when thieves use two devices. So a secondary hack RF can be deployed to jam your signal and the primary one can be used to capture your signal. So again, we cut off the communication. So the vehicle is on to demonstrate this because when the vehicle is on, the remote and the vehicle have no, there's no need to communicate. So whatever we capture will not have been authenticated by the vehicle. So. I have tuned the hack RF. Let's start recording. So here's an unlock. Sorry, the lock. Here's an unlock. I will just record a few. Now look at how many times I can do this. It only takes a few seconds and then I can store these codes and use them later at my leisure. And I can store many so that if I use the first few, I still have many, many left over. So let's press stop. Let's go to replay. Now we'll turn off the vehicle so that we can play the captured signals and see what happens. I've tuned it to 314.4250. That is the frequency of this fob. And we can find that by using the, the built-in frequency counter. So if we know the range by plugging in the FCC ID of this remote, if we have the range, we can then find the exact frequency. So I'm gonna put the fob right here. Now I'm gonna open file. I'm gonna increase the gain. And I'm going to amplify it. And now I'll press play. There's our lock. There's another lock. There's our unlock. There's another unlock. And there's the fob. There's another unlock. There's another unlock. There's a lock. 
Another unlock. Another unlock. So, you get the point. That took seconds. If someone were so adamant to, it would literally take them seconds. Rolling codes are not, not safe. Not, not much safer than static codes. This fob requires a $9 monthly subscription to Toyota. And you'd think, for a subscription fee, you would receive some pretty solid security instead of a fake blanket of security. Many people, many security experts will say that rolling codes cannot be copied. Uh, the replay attacks can no longer be used because there's now such a thing called rolling codes. That's not the case at all. It's literally just been demonstrated. And it has been demonstrated before. The only difference is, instead of somebody capturing the vehicle just locked because it realized that it left it unlocked. The only way now is, you know, if, if a thief were to, were to have access to your fob without it being in range to your vehicle, or by using a jammer to jam the signal and then capture your signal so the vehicle never communicates with the fob. So what is the most secure way? Currently, there's a rash of thefts of Range Rovers, Hondas, and Toyotas all over Canada and North America. They are very easy targets. As archaic as it sounds, perhaps the best method is to just use a key until we receive some practical solutions that actually work. Stay safe.